Okay, uh, Kelly has a question. She wants to know how long it takes for the blood to completely drain from the body during embalming. Uh, well, Kelly, that's that's a great question. It's also a two-part question. So I, I don't have enough time uh, because I'm posting these on Instagram too, which gives me a minute. Um, but I would highly recommend going back and looking at my video where I talk about the trocar because that talks about the aspiration process. The aspiration process uh, very quickly is where we uh, drain blood from the visceral cavities. Um, when, the when the heart stops beating, there's a lot of blood that's still left in the, the organs, the heart, the lungs, etc. Um, the first part would be the arterial embalming, which is the circulatory system. We drain blood through the circulatory system by injecting embalming fluid into the artery and we cut the an artery, we cut the vein, and as it's being pumped into the artery, the blood is being uh, pushed out through the vein. All in all, it takes about two hours to get